Traders, I'm not going to continue trading today. I'm up $885 as you can see here. It's not much and I'm kind of lucky to be in green because um, I had three winners today, uh, NEO and RCL and ZM. However, two losers and just a few minutes ago before ZM, I was uh, in fact in slightly red territory. So just lucky to be in green. Anyway, um, it was kind of hard for me to trade today because um, the market started with a gap up and continued higher. My opinion was and still is that uh, the market should come down. And I want to start with that because you need to take a look at the recent few days in the S&P 500. Now, take a look at the way we're coming down recently. I mean, yes, we do have some pullback days like here, for example, and today, of course. But it looks more likely for the market to continue coming down. So don't really trust when you see the market just... Uh, uh, getting up with uh, such a big uh, gap like today. Don't trust it to continue much. Yes, it did initially move higher. And now I there's just one trade I want to discuss today, and that's ZM. Look at the way ZM moved higher. ZM was right out of the start. When I saw ZM coming down, it was a short candidate for me. And then I saw it moving higher. And you know what? I didn't really trust the way it moved higher, but I thought maybe once it pulled back from the highs that much, maybe it's going to continue higher, which it did not. At that point, I realized that ZM is really trending lower. Now, you need to take a look also at the daily of ZM. Take a look at the breakdown we've got here. And some people mentioned earlier that uh, ZM should move higher because, you know, we're going to a second lockdown all around the world and uh, just starting today in several locations really all around the world now if you think about it zm should move higher right it benefits from the lockdown but that's exactly the way the market is working the market is working in a way that is totally the opposite of uh, the let's say the normal understanding of the uh, ordinary person I mean, what do I mean? I mean, whatever, if you're just starting out trading, the, the, the best thing you should do is go exactly opposite what you think is going to happen. So you watch ZM uh, moving higher, maybe you should short it really. Um, I'm not really... Um, I'm not really going to do that as a trader, but you know, I'm always looking for the trend or whatever. But the market does work in a way that is totally opposite to the way ordinary people think. And the reason for that is, you know, we all know that it's not simple to become a trader. And since it looks obvious that ZM should move higher, that's exactly why you should be questioning that move and expecting it to come down. Seriously, that's how the market works in exactly the opposite way uh, that uh, that in, in understood by ordinary people. So in fact, you start with the S&P and you see the S&P recently trending lower. Don't trust this big gap up. And you know, we, we had some kind of a, a thinking today. My opinion was we're going to see the S&P moving under the lows today. And that looked kind of strange when the market was high, but I still think so. And look at the way we just pulled back from the highs and look at the Nasdaq, which just touched the lows. I mean, a few minutes ago, it looked like incredible. How can that be? But now I feel even more uh, comfortable about thinking so. Anyway, ZM was trending lower and I did come to the understanding that I should be shorting it. It looked like it's going to come down. So I did come out with a short idea um, under 462. And that was, uh, where was that? Right over here under 462 that was a shorting idea in ZM because it looked like it's going to come down and possibly look for a new law and then what I do want to talk about today is the trend I mean we all know that the trend is our best friend and ZM was trending lower but it's not only about the trend now my target was three point I was also looking to uh, for a stop just in case it didn't work out I knew that my stop is going to be over 465 now technically speaking 460 would, 462 was my uh, intended uh, short, which I did. And 465 would have been my stop. Some people would look at the chart and would say, well, why 465? Why isn't it 467 or so? Right over the highs over here. So, well, the answer is quite simple. There's a point where you think that the stock is going your way. And there's a point where you know that the stock is very, very likely not to go your way. What do I mean by that? If the stock would have moved over 465 
I think it could be understood that it's going the wrong way, right? I mean, you don't have to wait until 467. You just look at the, the entry point here at 462. It just came down and you try to imagine what happens if it moves over 465. Well, if it does move over 465, then it is very, very likely to go over 467 too. So you don't have to have a stop loss at 467. 465 will do. That would be the point of no return, in my opinion. It's just try to imagine look at the stock and you think okay what will happen if it moves over 465 would it also continue to 467 if your answer if you think yes over 60 percent or over 80 percent i usually think then that would be the point of your stop loss so i was waiting for for uh 459 so that's a one-to-one -one risk reward i was risking three points i was looking for three points and it did come very very close but it did not get there i just missed a half a point or something like that to get my partial now when stock is going your way your one of the reasons i always like to go for one-to-one -one risk reward is because i like to get my partial real quick and put the trouble behind me so i was really looking for zm to come down to my three point target really quick and put the risk behind me click the button and as you can see it was a bit extended here and i was just hoping for a bit more which i did not get that is actually the issue of this lesson that's something i wanted to discuss with you guys today so the fact that i did not get my partial i still have the trend to protect me right i mean zm is trending lower i do like to take my partial before anything else and just put the risk behind me but i was forced to go through a pullback so zm did nothing wrong it pulled back up it did not go over my uh, stop loss which is 465 otherwise i would have been, been forced to move out at the point of you know just continuing with a nice trend it stopped and continued lower now this time it gets back to my 459 port so should i take my partial at the 459 point should i now at the point of my initial target take my partial the answer is no, absolutely no. Why is that? If you get to your first one-to-one -one risk reward ratio on the first move down, which I always hope I will, but doesn't always happen, and then you are forced to go through a pullback, you need to play the pullback more than your, 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 your initial target. You should be rewarded for the fact that you went through a pullback. If you go through a pullback, usually your first target should be more than one to one risk reward. So if my first target was here, my target after a pullback, after going through this hardship, after looking at the price move up, even getting to the point where I was a little bit in red in ZM, and then being right and seeing the stock continues with the trend now the trend protects you it's not just the breakdown that i've seen here that should have taken me or i was hoping that it's going to take me to my first target it's the trend now that should bring me to my target then look for a new breakdown i went through this breakdown now i have to go through another breakdown and i should get a better than a one-to-one -one risk reward because i should be rewarded for going through a pullback now the first initial idea of going through a one-to-one -one risk reward does not apply anymore the one-to-one -one can get you the first move down i love to get that because again it puts me out of the risk zone but if i can't get my partial during the first pull uh, breakdown under this recent low over here and i'm forced to go through a pullback then i have to play it for a little bit longer distance just let it come down a little bit under the recent low so first target was great if it would have happened second target not at the first price you went through a pullback you should be rewarded that's a different game now it's not the one-to-one -one risk reward it's going with a trend the trend usually takes you to um, uh, i mean um, bigger distances uh, bigger profits but it's also risky because you don't know what's about to happen i mean that pullback here could have taken me to the stop loss if the market for example would have changed direction and things like that so this could have been dangerous you go through a danger zone you should be rewarded so yes i had to wait a bit and get my partial 
a bit more than I anticipated. Of course, I couldn't have known that it's going to continue down, but the trend was on my with, with, with my trade. And therefore, I still had more than 50% chance to succeed. And somehow turned out to finish in green today. It was a hard day. It wasn't easy. So I was struggling today and uh, being red for approximately 50% of my time until ZM came. Um, well, that's it. So guys, enjoy the rest of your day. And um, if you're in the lockdown, stay home. Try to enjoy trading. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye traders. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.